videos and I'm back with videos. Like I said, we're making a comeback. We're going to be coming back and doing more videos. I'm going to go ahead. I'm using the Tarot Black and Gold edition. Love this edition. Um, so far, I still haven't gotten any more black on my back of my hand. So I think once you use it a couple of times, it's pretty good. So if you like this deck, go ahead and pick it up. All right. We are going to be doing Pisces. This is going to be our general Pisces reading. We're just going to see what comes up, um, see what kind of story it has to tell, and go from there. So let's see what it has to say about our lovely, wonderful Pisces. Let's see what we get. Oh, okay. Pisces, you have a lot going on, I think. Okay. Ooh, the Empress. Pisces, we've gotten this card so much. I don't know about the rest of you all. I'm a Pisces rising, so I do watch Pisces videos, and that Empress energy has been very strong and very abundant for us. We also have the, ooh, the Four of Cups. Okay. Okay. I think this card is still from last reading, so I'm going to go ahead and flip that one back over. And we're not going to take that one. We want very clear messages. Ooh. Okay. Here's our next one. And oh, 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 okay. I think we're going to let this close us out. Okay. Well, Pisces, we've got a little bit going on here. So let's look at this story that our cards have to tell us. Number one, we have the Empress. And I want y'all to be able to see this card really well because it's so pretty. As you can see, the Empress is super abundant. There is so much going on here. And this is that really fertile. This is that very much like you can manifest whatever it is that you want in life whatever it is you're looking for. And this is definitely representing your energy right now, Pisces, is that whatever it is you want to go for, whatever it is you're interested in, whatever it is you're trying to create in life, you can literally make it happen. You just need to believe that you can. You need to focus on it. You need to put that plan into place. You need to plant the seeds. The Empress is someone who is just abundant by nature, but that doesn't mean that they're not doing any work, that they're not being active in that energy it just means that they know how to utilize that and tap into it in a way that like it's not as stressful it's not something that's like oh my gosh they're working so hard the emperor card is a hard worker the empress is like sitting back and in that receiving energy they put it out there and it comes back to them okay this is the energy we need to be embodying this is you like from the get-go pisces okay but here's the thing is that right now you're a little distracted. We are thinking about, and I'm saying we, I should like take myself out of this and depersonalize it for myself. But you were a little distracted by the, by past situations. We have those three cups right here. And those three cups are facing away. And we, we see that we have the individual and they're staring at that three cups. Whereas like in the ace of cups, there's literally an arm coming out of the cloud with a new cup coming towards it. Pisces, there are new opportunities that are presenting themselves to you. But if you are so stuck thinking about the past, thinking about what could have been, thinking about the stuff that you tried to manifest, but that didn't happen. And now you're all frustrated and you're feeling a little sullen about it. Like, you're not going to get to that point just because you have to be able to look up. You have to be able to look forward. You cannot stay in the past. That will not get you where you want to be. And so with that, our next card is the Fool. Pisces, take a leap of faith. It's time for you to go ahead and whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, whatever it is you're interested in, take the leap. This is the time. This is the energy. This is the moment. I'm filming this before the next eclipse, the one that's coming up in Scorpio. And this is the, it's a Mercury retrograde. And I know there's so many folks who are like, Mercury retrograde, you shouldn't do this and the other. Like, it is springtime. This is our season for planting the seeds. If you are not planting the seeds, you will not be ready for harvest season when it comes. Like your manifestations will still come, but like they may take a lot longer or there just might be a lot more work that's going to it. Like you're going to have to get to this place where you can move forward, look forward and take that leap of faith. Like take the chance. But here's the other thing. Like it, there seems to be some heartache. There seems to be some concern about 
disappointment around the situation, disappointment about getting maybe the relationship that it is that you want, getting the job that it is that you want, getting the house, the car, whatever it is you're working to manifest, there is some disappointment around this topic. And you are being very protective over your heart, which is probably why you haven't taken the leap of faith. You're being very protective over your heart because you're anticipating that this moment is coming, that you're going to take that leap, you're going to be brave and then you're going to get your heart broken all over again. And so like you're running right now, you're running away from this and it's, it's not anything that's super dramatic. Like Pisces, yes, can be dramatic. They can be a little like in their feelings and things like that. Me too. And it's fine, but you're taking a very mature approach to this. And so you've kind of gone away, whether you've gone on a vacation or you've gone kind of quiet, you're gone in isolation mode. You're like, I'm just going to move away from this and hopefully like get to better shores, get to a better space. But what the cards are saying is that in that way that you're approaching things, like take that leap of faith and maybe it doesn't work out and maybe you have to go and do something else. But there's such an abundance of choices available to you. And that's the thing that I think when you're looking at that Empress card, like if you are the Empress, if you are this fertile, just very abundant being, there are always more choices available to you. Even if the ones that are presently in your life or the ones that have happened before, like with these three of cups, didn't work out because you're seeing that progression as it moves through these cards. So you're looking at like, taking the opportunities, taking the leap, maybe things don't work out, or maybe you're scared because you don't want things to go out and you're, you're like still a little hesitant about things, but you have to remember that regardless of what happens, regardless of the leap that you take, the choices will always be there for you. And they're saying like, you have to go after us that we, we cannot get to you. If you're still here, if you're still here because you're scared that this is going to happen, you cannot get to this point here where you have all of these options options available to you. And that is the Empress's natural energy and natural habitat. Pisces, you are an abundant, like you, Pisces are the last sign in the Zodiac. And although sometimes you maybe don't get as much as attention or you don't, you know, you're the last one that gets a reading or something like that. That is because like you envelop all of the energy that is available. This is not something where it's like, oh, okay, sad little Pisces. This is something where it's like, literally all of the energy of the universe, all of the experiences that have already happened, all of the learning and the growth that could occur is embodied in Pisces. And you have access to all of that. That seven of cups, all of these different options, you have access to all of that. It's simply like making the decision to move towards one of the cups. And I think that that's one of the things like that analysis paralysis. There's too many options. There's too many choices. And you have that critical awareness of how it feels when something doesn't work out or how it feels collectively when there's a lot of pain or loss or something of that nature. And so you see the choices, you know the options are available to you, but you're not moving towards them because you're avoiding this one experience. But that's the thing, like life is a spectrum of experience and you're going to Pisces experience that spectrum regardless of if you try to go and hide at the bottom of the depths of the ocean through unhealthy behaviors or anything like that, or distract yourself by work or relationships or whatever, whatever it is that you're focusing on to try to like keep yourself safe from these other options that are trying to come in for you. It's not going, like, it's not going to save you. It's not going to work. You, like just go for what it is you want and keep going for it because it may not look like what you thought it would. It may not be what you thought it, it would be, but it will show up and honestly, it'll probably be better than what you even expected because in this case, you're taking that leap of faith on one cup and what you get in the end are seven. So let's see, um, what's our outcome card? If we take that leap, if we go for it, what's gonna be our outcome? What are we gonna get out of this? Ooh, okay. Well, we got one card. The queen of wands. Oh, that's such a great energy. You're going to feel very alive. You're going to feel really excited. You're going to feel really enthusiastic about moving forward and about, um, 
just seeing what's available to you. Like it's going to be so good for you, Pisces. And this fiery energy might be a little unusual for you. You might be like, yo, I'm not used to this. I'm used to a more like subtle energy. I'm going to move my computer real quick just so it's easier so I can see kind of what's going on on this on the table. But you're like, I'm used to a more subtle energy. I'm used to things being a little bit more like chill but right now like chill season is over we are in the fire season it is springtime it is time to make things happen and as you see here we have the black cat like that inner wisdom like you're a powerful being tap into that power do not run away from it that black cat is like yo i've got all this wisdom i want to share with you you've got this long staff and you're holding it because you know that like whatever it is you want to go after you have that energy to do so you have this um sunflower and that is just saying like sunflowers have so many seeds like this is the season of planting seeds sunflowers have so many seeds they can just go out and they can sprout and there you will just bring abundance and abundance and a, an abundance so like you are gonna really be excited and this is gonna work out really well for you if you take that chance if you take that leap so I think like what you're trying to save yourself from, and we even have this eight, it's like self-imposed prison. Like you are like, you take this leap and you're really excited, but it's like those, those thoughts, this energy right here, that swords energy still is creeping up inside of you. You know, it's still saying like, oh my gosh, what might happen here? What if this doesn't work out? And I think the thing is, is to always remember that like this person in this eight of swords can always just like these little, these little ropes are so loosely tied. Like they might as well not even exist. She could easily take off her blindfold and just like leave. There's nothing keeping her there. So it's like, which route do you take? Do you take the leap? Do you go and be the queen of wands? Or do you stay here in this three and this like six energy and this sad eight energy and like remain where probably it feels safe. We then have the two of wands in reverse. I'm going to leave it in reverse because the two of wands in reverse is really like a, like there are choices again, choices. There's a move that you can make and you're hesitating on it. So like, why are we hesitating? Why are we hesitating Pisces? Like, is this not like what's going on that's causing this hesitation? That's like the energy is there. You're feeling good. Page of Swords, I think you're going to receive some uh, news that's going to make you kind of take a pause. And maybe it's one of those things where it's like, it's it's a sword, so it's popping up. It's related to that uh, fear of heartbreak. It's related to that needing to move on from a situation. You might have an ex reach out to you or someone that you've known prior that kind of throws a little bit of a wrench into things. Yeah, definitely. The lovers in reverse. We have an ex coming up. We have a prior relationship that's going to pop in and they're going to try to knock you off of your empress and queen of wands energy. And I really need for you to be like, that is the past. <laughs> we have our three of cups right there or our four of cups right there with our three cups. That is the past. We are not there anymore. We are moving forward. I am so sorry that you still have this attachment to me, but I am done. I am out of here. Uh, page of cups. Yeah, definitely, definitely have some old emotional connections that are hanging on here. And this may be work. Usually it's, it, usually it's love, but it's someone you had a strong com emotional connection with, uh, that you have had to walk away from that's trying to pop itself back up in here. I find this to probably be as annoying as you do, just because I've seen all of the readings that have like Pisces, you have an ex coming up, Pisces, you have an ex coming up. And I was like, ugh, disgusting. Please just go away. Please just leave me alone. I'm moving on in my life. I'm making things work. But you know what? I'll be vulnerable and I'll be truthful with you all. Like the thoughts still pop up. Like the thoughts still pop up about this other person thoughts still pop up about prior places of employment like it's I am making the conscious effort to move forward but like it's still lingering there a bit but 
you know, we got the page of wands. We do need to go ahead and make that forward move, make that forward step. We have to stay on the path, regardless of whether we have these things kind of coming up and trying to remind us of the past, trying to bring us back into that emotional space. Like we have to stay, like those are falling right on top of each other. We have to stay on the Empress energy. We have to stay in our Queen of Wands energy. We have to stay on our Page of Wands energy. And we cannot look back. We cannot go back. We have to keep moving forward. We have to move forward from that Six of Swords to the Seven of Cups. Like we have to just keep moving forward. All right, so what's going to help us? What's going to help us? All right, we're going to have some options come up for us. We need to make some new choices, make some new decisions. What else is going to help us? Queen of Swords, we need to be able to communicate. We've got to start telling people how we're feeling. We need to just be able to be strong, tell people no. When these people pop up and they have these things to say, like we got to tell them no. Um, and we also need to know that like the worst is behind us. We have to know the worst is behind us. And that when we go ahead and shut this down, down with that queen of swords like that's gonna release us from those bonds that's gonna release us this queen of swords is gonna release us from this bonds this eight of um swords and this ten of swords like the worst is behind us and yeah it's gonna be some hard work to get to where we want to be but it will be worth it in the end and then we're gonna have this moment i truly do believe that pisces you are going to be the person who is standing here doling out this um abundance you know, and that you're going to not be like, you're not going to feel like that person who's sitting here and has to like beg for crumbs from anything. Like you're not going to be trying to beg for time and attention from someone. You're not going to be begging for recognition for the hard work that you're doing. You're not going to be doing any of that. Like you're going to be sitting here holding the abundance in your hand. You're going to be moving into a position of power, but we've got to learn to let go. We've got to learn to move on and we've got to learn to be strong. Like we have to be able to express our ourselves we've got to be able to know what our path is and we've got to be willing and brave enough like the fool to take that leap of faith and to move forward in that path so all right pisces here's your general reading um i think i'll go ahead and do a gosh i'll do a love reading next <laughs> Um, and let's go ahead and just get that out the way so we can move on and focus on our money because that's, that's where, where it is. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this was helpful for you. I really hope that you got something out of this. Go ahead and leave in the comments below kind of like what's going on with you, what resonated, what didn't, what questions you would like for me to ask. Um, and any way you think that I could improve my reading. So thank you so much again, Pisces, and I'll see you later. Bye.